tune in to our whole body, our energy, the thoughts in the mind. And today we're looking into vulnerability. What it feels like when we share something. And bring your attention into the physical body. Notice what it feels like in your whole body from head to toes. And for some of us, those words vulnerability or vulnerability hangover might already have some resonance. How many might be dealing with that right in this moment? And probably all of us have memory coming up or think, can think of a time when we really shared something deeply personal. Whatever that comes up for you, there's some kind of feeling around those words, vulnerability, hangover. Notice your experience and take a few deep breaths. Notice what's happening energetically in your body as well. So if we're experiencing that now or if we're thinking back to experiencing it, or even just entertaining those words, notice what's happening right now in your system. And notice what thoughts are coming into your mind. And as you're sitting with it, notice what's most drawing your attention right now. Is it the words? Is it a memory or an experience of your own? Is it a feeling in your body? And we can also notice if whatever's happening in our experience is welcome. So there might be thoughts like, gee, I thought I was just going to come and relax today. And here she is talking about vulnerability and that's kind of triggering something in me. I don't want to really do that. I find there's a kind of an uneasiness almost that can come up. Maybe a feeling of dread. It can be kind of mild or it can be quite intense. So let's take a moment to notice what might some of the words be that come up as you're just kind of looking at or inquiring into this feeling of vulnerability. And with any words, we can see them as though they're written up on a piece of paper or in our mind's eye. Sometimes if there are a lot of words, we could put them up like on a whiteboard or something and just notice the shapes of the letters. Some of them might be big and blocky, might be rainbow colored, flowing script. There could be all kinds of options for how we see words. And there's also the sound of them, the sound vibration or the, the kind of silent sound thought in the mind. And if we're working with sounds or visuals of words, 
one of the things that we can look to see is if it feels like it's a threat. Does it make us uneasy looking at it? Does it make us uncomfortable? And let your attention be drawn to whatever it is. If it's a, a word that you're looking at or hearing, maybe it's the whole collection of words. Maybe it's more one or two. Maybe it's something that you shared. There's a memory of that a little video clip, maybe, or an image of what it was like to be sharing that. And if there's an uncomfortable intensity to something, we could always tap on it. Just bringing your two fingers to your forehead and tapping as you bring your attention away from the image or the sound. Just noticing the sound and sensation of the tapping. We can put it in a frame. We can take a perspective step back as well. If we're looking out of our own eyes, we could take that step back so we could see ourselves in the situation as well. Put a frame around the picture. Notice the space all around the outside of the edges. Take your eyes around that space a few times, one direction and then the other. We have lots of time just noticing our experience. Looking at or hearing the words and see if the words themselves seem to carry that feeling of vulnerability hangover, of being exposed. There's no right or wrong answer. Sometimes it does feel like the words or the images. Other times it feels more like the sensation in the body is where the, the power is. As you're looking at the words or hearing them or looking at images, notice what the sensations are in your body. And is it an all over your body situation? Is it just a specific location? Is it really familiar? Is it something that you don't experience very often? What's the type of sensation? Is it heavy? Is it moving? Is it still? Really tune in and notice that sensation. And as you're doing that, notice the space all around the edges of the sensation. And if it's a whole body sensation, notice the edges of your body. Notice where exactly it stops. It might go out a little bit from your body, but at some point it might stop. And again, notice your resistance or welcoming. Is it okay with you that this is coming up right now? We all have a window of tolerance and sometimes we're gonna pass that and it's not okay, we need to back up a bit. And other times it's like, okay, this is pretty intense or it feels kind of exposed or whatever it might be feeling. And I'm okay actually to stay with that. So as much as you can, see if you can be present with yourself, whatever it is that's happening. And stay anchored in your body and your breath.
Notice what you're feeling. Do you feel a tenderness towards yourself? Do you feel some kind of shame? What's going on in your experience right now? You could see what happens with the welcome phrases. If you are present with this experience and the energy of it, just letting it know that it's okay with you that it's here. Thank you for arising. I love you. You're welcome to stay. And sometimes we really, in a heartfelt way, mean those words, and other times we don't. So whatever your experience is, it's fine. We're just noticing. At this moment, can I wholeheartedly welcome what I'm feeling, the thoughts and emotions, sensations? And if there is resistance to it, notice what is underneath that. Why is it that it's not welcome completely? Maybe something's being reflected back at you. Maybe it's a memory of some time when you shared and it was used against you. It's all kinds of possibilities. Why is it that it's not completely welcome? Notice your breath. Notice that right now we're witnessing whatever it is that's coming and going in our system. So you might be having a fairly intense memory of exposing yourself or sharing in a way that feels like that might have been too risky now. Or maybe something was triggered and you're feeling like that's a bit too intense. And then we're having that experience. We're noticing that. We're not actually back in the situation. But we are paying attention. We're noticing what's coming up and what's coming and going. What does it feel like right now? And part of that staying grounded in the witness is to really be present in our body. Notice your body. Notice your feet on the floor. Notice your hands, your breath. And is there anything that you could offer yourself right now? Maybe some kind of reassurance. Maybe it's a clear seeing.
What is it that feels shaky, feels overexposed or vulnerable? We're cultivating patience and kindness and welcoming. We're witnessing, we're noticing what's coming and going. We're noticing our own stability as well. Our feet on the ground, our seat in the chair. Up memories coming back of something when you were ashamed by exposing yourself, tap on the memory. Just transfer your attention away from it and into the sound and sensation of the tapping. It's natural to have these associations and they don't necessarily mean anything now. We had a different brain development and capacity and outlook in the past than we do now. And notice and really tune in for a moment to the strength that you bring to this. We've all defended ourselves by putting up walls and not really being open and authentic with people. So that's something that we've all done, I'm sure. And we've also all experienced the, the deep connection that comes when we are open with people and we're vulnerable and we share our truth. Tune into that as well. I am strong enough to be real. My window of tolerance is wide enough to take that risk at times. We're not gonna be foolish about it, but we don't have to protect ourselves as much as the five-year-old in us might think that we do, or the one that was hurt by gossip or something. But just notice what your experience is right now. Are you able to support yourself, to be friendly with yourself, to be present? Sometimes that vulnerability hangover is because we've been very present and seen something about ourselves. It's not even that we've shared it with somebody. Can we hold the space for that? Continue to breathe, stay connected. And see yourself in your mind's eye as strong and grounded and open, connected. Take some deeper breaths, move your posture into more of a position of strength, especially if you've slumped over it all, move your body around a bit. Let yourself feel that this is okay.
And then when you're ready, open your eyes.